And a professional player explained this concept to me, and it like changed the way I approached the game completely. Oh, I'm gonna show you such a cool peek you can do tiles. Uh, this is top secret, please nobody share this. Because humans are like loss averse. It's built into our brains that losses are worse than gains, even if the losses are equivalent to the gains. Not gonna lie. Free make. Yeah, if you're gonna throw that open one way, we need to line that up pre-round, as you can see. It's really hard to throw it close fast. Top, Anyways. Okay, they're coming tree on you. Nice. Nice, good round. Oh, I think it's a B hit. It is flash B. Before B here. Yeah, did we con this one way pre round? Let's see. No. Okay. So we need to tell our teammate to hold it if we're going to throw a one way like this early in the round. Yeah, so here I'm going to suggest a. This is a smoke I've learned. That you might, you're gonna really gonna like. So they're out B main, right? So it's too smoking B main here doesn't do much except stop the guy hiding back in B main. So what I would suggest actually, you have this extra smoke, is throw a smoke kind of like this, and they have a smoke here. So now with these two smokes, you can come here and you can walk into yours, and you can go sight totally safe and fight lane or for sight, or you can come out by switch here. And fight with your teammates. Or you can swing out on this side of the smoke too. So this type of retake smoke is really difficult for them to deal with. It looks kind of like this. So from their POV, they see that and they're like, oh. So this would put a lot more pressure on them in this scenario than this B main smoke. Which doesn't do much because they're already out of B main. Um, having no flash is pretty much unacceptable on this map. So I go light armor. If they end up rushing you, most common pattern is you're gonna come like sight and try to throw this flash when you hear them coming out. Like you hear a satchel or a dash, you throw this and it splits up their team. So now you can take that fight with the entry fragger without getting traded. Without that flash and you on sight here, it's really hard for you not to get traded and they're on their bonus round. So it's super dangerous. And now our angle is really bad, because at this distance, the Spectre is pretty much just as good as your Vandal. You see? So we have to be meant conscious of uh, what guns our opponents have and what guns we have. Uh, let me suggest an alternate angle. If we wanted to hold um, tree, this angle is really fun, and you can hold right here. Nice. All 71, mid. Yeah, here we go. Go for that gun. That's unfortunate. I bet you felt like they could be there. Your intuition was probably screaming at you. If you're an omen man on this map, this has probably happened to you before. And you're like, God, I hope they're not in this one corner. So whenever your intuition says that to you and you're in your smoke, just ping it, shoot it, and then come out. Don't worry that you're giving away your location that you're in the smoke. Oh my god, I'm hacking. Oh wow. Yeah, we're throwing these one ways, in my opinion, too much. So, this one way here, I think we're misunderstanding the purpose of it. So, we're throwing this one way. What does the opposition do when they see this? In this type of round where they're defaulty, the lurker's never gonna push this. They don't want to push this. It's a free kill for you if they push this. Now you have a shorty, so what do you want? You don't want them to leave, because now you're playing retake with a shorty. That sucks. You want them to walk into you. So you need to entice them to walk into you somehow. So there's multiple ways you can try to do that. You can throw a bad smoke and play in it. Make them a little excited about the idea of peeking. So from their POV, you'd be like, oh, there's a little gap. And they might get up and try to look market. And now you're right here. You, your one way is doing the opposite. Your one way, when they see it, is making them go, oh, okay. Well, I'm going to wait back here then. Oh, I'm going to show you such a cool peek you can do tiles. Uh, this is top secret. Please, nobody share this. Top secret peek, okay? For your eyes only. If you're here, you know it. If you're not here, they don't know it, okay? You're, you're in nowhere now. So, 
This is like the normal tile smoke, right? Well, if you lift this bad boy off the ground, like here, and you throw it, and you watch this arrow, once the arrow disappears, if you swing, you have a one way. They don't have a good dart. Cover going up. What are these tiles screaming? I didn't see anything top mid. Reloading. Shadows traveling. Dash out. I'm waiting for the fade. I can't walk up the screen. I see a lot of um, Ascendant and Diamond players struggle with listening to their intuition completely and trusting it. Because when they were lower rated, it was wrong a lot of the time. All right, so you'd hold maybe in lower elo, you'd hold tree at the wrong time and nothing would ever happen. You'd never see anybody and you get punished. But now that you're Ascendant, when you feel like holding tree, you really should commit to your decisions. So you kill this guy and you should just come right back and trust yourself. Trust your instincts. They're gonna be wrong way less often than they used to be. Okay, we have a judge. Let's see if I'm right. I wagered your next smoke would be a one way. Ding, ding, ding. Every now and then, if you watch like uh, Xander, you watch Boaster, every now and then they're gonna throw this smoke a little deep. Do you know why? So sometimes they'll throw the smoke normal, just like this on A main, but sometimes they throw it like back here going out. you'll commonly see it thrown when the enemy team has no drone or their like drone agent is currently dead so it'll go deeper Cover going out. to threaten you can get wine here totally safe like this and you can come across yeah so what's the plan here so you, we've thrown the one way and you go if you hear the boom bot see them you're gonna blind but how does this play work so it's clear. This is one way off. Oh, that's a terrible circle. I'm sorry about that. This is one way off. Let's say the boom bot does see one. Okay. So this is the boom bot. It sees one and it goes th this way. And you throw your flash. Okay. I already know how I'm going to summarize defense. So we're going to stop and talk about it. So there's two themes. We have our one way itis. I don't know how you want to word that. Um, over usage of one ways planned aggression on rounds we're gonna do rounds four six and eight so on round four six and eight i want you to get way more aggressive than you're comfortable getting okay one ways are really good for slowing but what is slowing gaining us i don't want to slow my enemies i want to win the round so is slowing our enemies gaining us something that's going to win us the round. I'm going to give you an example of a time where I don't want to slow them, okay? In this setup, you've got your strongest A hold agents here. You want them to think A is a good hit. So you want to throw this normal smoke here, and you want them to come out. Because the moment they come out, this is their jet dashing out, this jet gets isolated in a 2v1 against you and Raze, because you're popping this paranoia, your Rays can be throwing a nade or something. And this jet is just in no man's land. And one of our teammates is taking infinite damage. and may be blind coming out and getting picked off. So when you have a setup that's strong and well formed, you don't want to be slowing them. Let's go to offense. I think we're too worried about stalling on defense. So I'm actually going to reword that one way thing. And a professional player explained this concept to me. And it like changed the way I approached the game completely. Uh, Cloud9 Curry was explaining this to me like a couple months ago. So playing to hold is like you're on site and so is your buddy. You can't leave. If they come out, you're fighting them, right? So your goal is to hold. And it's really common on Ascent that you have like two people with like an omen flash and this is how you hold the map. Then there's playing to delay, which is what you've been doing exclusively, which is throwing these one ways, smoking off early, nading. There's playing to retake. Which is like, you're playing up on heaven, a safe shot, and then you're falling back, waiting for your friends. And then there's, it's called like a fast flood. Which is very similar to playing to hold, but it's more like you're letting them come out, and then you're instantly commencing the retake, like right as they tap bomb. So before they get the bomb down. So there's these four options available to us. The fast flood is pretty rare in lower rated solo queue, because you have to coordinate it. But even if we only consider the three options, playing to hold, retake, and stall, 
I think you only play to stall right now. When I watch you play, you, this seems to be the only option you're thinking about. And here you can see from your perspective, when that one way comes down, you all go B, right? So sometimes you don't want to make the enemy team all go B. Same. Here we go, here we go. So, I just like to point this out. Remember last round, their omen threw a one way and it forced you to rotate B? Now, this round, he's thrown a normal smoke. So, just like you can throw these smokes because you want certain things to happen, you can also read into how your opponents are throwing their smokes and kind of figure out what they want to happen. So, he smoked here. He's He probably wants you to come out. Why? Does he have a shotgun? Maybe. You have no, no drone. Hey, they have a shotgun. Man, it feels good to be right. So, and they're all A. You see, they're four stacked A. So sometimes it can be really annoying to our opponents if we read into their util usage and do the things that they don't want us to do. So he threw the one way and we rotated. And now he's throwing this normal smoke, implying he doesn't want us to rotate. So we should rotate. You know?